Hello and welcome back to the Sheffield Wednesday career mode here on Dexterity Box. It's been a long time since we last did a career mode. We did a player career. I will let you guys know. I have tried to do Sim to Glories. I've recorded some. The old Sim to Glories that I used to enjoy doing on this channel. I've tried to do rebuilds, things like that. With the way the dressing room unrest happens, it's pretty much impossible without absolutely cheesing it to get through a season of that. So unfortunately, the rebuilds that were going to be out before this uh, weren't going to happen. So we're going to do an old fashioned career mode. I know this is mainly what you guys ask for anyway. They're obviously a lot of work, but I'm doing it late in the season. I've never done it with the January players actually in the squad. We're going to hit these episodes fairly frequently as long as you guys keep supporting it because I want to have this career mode pretty much um, wrapped up within a good couple of months. So if you keep supporting it, we can do a couple of seasons, get into it and see how far we actually get with it and see if we can get Wednesday to a stable side in the Premier League. I think that's got to be the, the aim. We'll obviously try and win some silverware. We always try in a career mode, see if we can win a piece of major silverware because that would be a massive thing for Sheffield Wednesday. We will see how we do. But make sure before we get going, you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. Okay, so I'm going to make an absolute unit of a manager. Maybe a bright orange suit, that sort of thing. Won't worry about the faces too much. What Wednesday are really missing, I would say, is a manager with this sort of moustache. This would be the, uh, the way forward if Danny Roll was to depart. What a distinguished gentleman this is. He would never see Sheffield Wednesday wrong. He looks like a Blackpool manager, but bright orange. We're going for it. Right, I'm going to take a risk and play on Legendary. Apparently, they've got rid of that stupid, oh, we'll play like the pros mode, which used to always annoy me because the game, it didn't play like football, but apparently they've got rid of that now. So you can play on Legendary difficulty without it being stupid like you're playing ultimate team people are constantly doing drag backs running about all that stuff that i hated apparently they've got rid of it we'll see how accurate that is it's a risk and here we are dexterity takes over at the helm we're going to skip that because we've all seen it enough this is the tricky thing right because i should probably go for a standard balanced but i also kind of want to maybe mess about with it a little bit you know what? Let's go for the Gengen Press. It, it's not really worked for me on career mode, but we're going to we're gonna be optimistic, all right? Let's hire some good coaches because that'll be important in keeping the players there, especially with... We've obviously got all the January signings, which is why I'm quite excited to do this. We've never had that before. Do we get a good balance? Yes, we've got an expert in the midfield as well. He's an ex... We've got some really good coaches available here, actually. This is a good role. Yes, I've been playing Baldur's Gate. He's got perfect attack. He's, has he got perfect defense? We'll see. So I might just swap their roles. Yeah, he has. I'm going to swap him over there and put him over there. There we go. We've got five star, five star, five star there. Can we get a good goalkeeping coach? I mean, he'll do. But maybe again, I can do a switch. Yes, I can. No, I can't. No, I can't. That's okay. Bring this guy in for the midfield. And then I think we'll be close to capacity. Yeah, let's wait for some better co um, coaches to become available on that. But that'll do for now. We've got all of this. Any good players in the Youth Academy straight off? The Youth Academy is actually pretty woeful for us, unfortunately. We haven't had um, good luck in that department. Scout reports are in. All of that sort of stuff. Let's just have a look at the squad now. Because I'm playing these rather than simming them, I'm going to obviously play them all. We'll we'll keep a balance in that so we can go through it at a good pace. I want play styles. I'm also not playing that formation. I kind of like this formation, but we've got a lot of attacking players I want to think about. I want to involve Kadamashri in there, and I want to do, to be conscious of his development. I'd really like to have this series focused around players like that. He doesn't start at a good point, but maybe we can um, get him to a good level. I think I'll probably play the 4-3-3 attack. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to go for because it fits the tactic as well, which is good. And then the way we're going to do this, we're going to get rid of Valentin. We're going to put Windass on the left there. I'll bring Kadamatri onto the bench. Pervader's going to sit in behind. We're going to make him more of a cam, that number 10. We're going to put Bernard in for uh, Famio, but actually, how old's Famio? 
Yeah, 24. We're going to make our back line, Famio and Bernard, we're going to make sure they're on their good foot as well. I'll keep Johnson at left back for now, but that won't always be the case. I actually do want new centre backs because the problem is we haven't got play styles. Now, a big thing about this is the play styles. I want anticipate. So anticipate centre back is going to be something I'm looking for. Oh, Gasama's got technical. And Aweque has got anticipate. Aweque is going in above Famio just because I would really utilise that. Pervader's got technical as well. Ugbo's got no playstyles, which is annoying. I don't know if you can give him playstyles in career mode. I've not really played with much career mode stuff because it was buggy for the longest period of time. Now, Smith's got power header and aerial, which, if you know this game, that's our plan B. That's fantastic. That's a fantastic set of playstyles. I wish they were playstyle pluses, but let's just say he's going to score goals for us. Now, Johnson's got whip pass. I'm going to keep it like that for now. We're going to put some development stuff on. Now, we are going to persevere with Beadle. Because isn't he? Yeah, he's six foot six. He will be a beast. We just need to work on him well. Actually, let's keep him balanced. We're going to loan, like, whoever we don't think is going to get any game time. Like, I like Gasama in real life. But I think if we take a view on him in January and at the end of the season, we send him out on loan, we do that. I don't need... Oh, he's got Travella, though, Hendrik could bring George Byers back. That might be an option. We'll see how he gets on over the course of the season. I'm not going to use Malik Wilkes. We used him a lot last career mode, but his real life performances has made me not want to go anywhere near that. Let's get five star, five star Musaba because I have got an 84 rated, fantastic, like 96, 97 pace Musaba in ultimate team. And he is brilliant. He's just the kind of player that you really want in your side. Um, let's get rid of some of the excess there. Do I... I would like to sell Gregory. I'm not going to sell Smith in this. I usually do. Patterson usually brings a bit of money, so we'll sell Patterson. And we'll see what the squad looks like after that. When, if they do, we do get offers for them. We'll set up the scout reports and um, the, scout, the scout instructions for exactly what I would want. Doesn't really need to fit my tactical fit as much. I just need anticipate. Oh, I should just put defending play styles in there. Youth development. Okay, so they want an older squad. Okay. For 29. You really wanted to go for the old school championship stuff. I hate that one, but it's medium priority. We're going to have to do it. This one's sometimes buggy. This signed tw uh, two players younger than 20 years old, but we'll see how we get on with it. Finish mid-table, reach around a 16. Jesus Christ. Sell two players and sign two crucial players to replace them. Finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. I think we can do that. Okay, let's see what people have said. I don't want a loan to buy. I just want the players to go for now. We'll see if we can squeeze 700k out of them for Patterson. It's just about survival, by the way. Not a mid-table finish here. I'm just trying to get us to survive this season. We all know how it's going for Wednesday. Yep, they'll do 700 for him. I've enjoyed your time here as well, Lee Gregory, but unfortunately, you're not ideal for this game at the minute. Got plenty of work to do, Barry. Barry Bannon drops quite quickly in this um, game, unfortunately, so we are going to have to look at that midfield position going forward as well. I think I'm going to try and sign Pervader, actually. I might, I might actually go in for him with any budget we've got because that's thinking about the future of keeping him at the, the club, to be honest while he's still 69 rated and cheap. So we've got 7 million. How much do you think he's worth? Let's have a look. 1.8 million. Let's see if we can do it. Let me save first, just in case it bugs out on me or something, because it does that. Let's see if we can get a good deal for him. 1.4 million. With a 20% sell on. Uh... I'll do you 15. Yes. And then we can actually get him to be our player, which will be ideal. I mean, we'll have to pay his wages, but we'll figure it out. Yes, we might have been able to get him on a free at the end of the season, but probably not. We'll have probably got him to about a 74 or whatever, and he will cost us a fortune. So let's do this now. I'm happy to make him one of our higher paid players. Bannon is our highest paid player. 10 grand and 100 grand. Yeah, there we go. 
I think that's a great little bit of business, actually. We don't need to worry too much about the other areas. Pervade have been a permanent signing for us, and if we can like tie down the likes of Dijon Bernard in the coming months, that'll be the ideal plan. Oh, I bet we could have got him for less. I didn't want to mess about. 1.1, we weren't too far off. And he's got technical, which is good. It's useful. Technical dribble is OP on this game. Yep, he's happy to have signed as well. Good to see. But vale wants a loan, Charles. Go on a loan. Ooh, offer for Windass. Now, I could be tempted if it's a good offer. Let's see if we can get good money for him. Because he would be one I ship out at the end of the season anyway, because there's not much of a ceiling in there for him. Can we get one point? Let's try and get a, a million and a half. I will take 1.4 for him. It's just what we've paid for Pervader. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I'll do that. Because then we can look for other options. It might also be worth seeing who's transfer listed in the Prem and the likes. Let's have a scout of this holler guy. Patrick Bauer. Hasn't he got... Oh, no, his pace is woeful. I need some sort of pace for playing on Legendary. Card stop would be great, but it's too much money. If he's a good central mid, the free's always good. Right, offer for Gassama to go on loan. If he can get, like, pushing the 70s when, we, when he comes back, that'd be great. 300k for Lee Gregory, I'll take it, it's 34. I'm not going to sell Bannon at that, even though Leicester want him. Stockport want Charles on a loan. Well, they want a loan to buy, because they always do. Just loan, please. Teguero will go to Cheltenham, we'll do that. Another one for 300k for Gregory, so we'll accept that as well. It looks like the MLS for Gregory. Oh no, that's Canada, isn't it? Ignore me. Do the Canadian teams play in the MLS? Callum Patterson got us 700k. Apparently we could have got 900 for him, but we'll take it. And Josh Windass has gone for 1.4 million. That gives us something to play with. We could bring, we should be bringing in a couple of first teamers, really. And we got the best out of that deal. Great. Who's going in his plate? What, Gassama at the minute? Oh, I should have disabled international management. I forgot to. No, I don't want to sell Gassama. I want to loan him. Right, so Roos is 67 overall. Hey, they're not bad play styles, you know. It doesn't have anticipate, but he's got... What's that? Jockey. Block. Bruises in there as well. He's not bad. I'll shortlist him. Million offer for Wilkes. If I can get more out of that, that'd be fantastic. Let's try 1,250. Yep, I could have got more, but there we go. More players have come up. God, these are awful. I'm going to add one in for players maximum of 20 as well because um, we need that objective, basically. If we don't get that objective, the board will not be happy with us. And I'm not getting... You can get sats on this game too easily sometimes. Might as well fit the Gengen press. More players gone, so Charles has gone out on loan. And Gassama will go on loan as well to one of those sides. Petrowski, 68 overall. We'll shortlist him and see if he's got any play styles in a second. Final scout report on Noel. Oh, he's got technical, but he's 62 overall. We've got better strikers. I'd rather just keep Kadamatri around for that. And we're obviously going to loan him out. Okay. Holler is transfer listed. 73 overall. His pace isn't great, but he's got aerial at six foot. Hmm. No, I think Michael Smith is probably better. Well, he's not better, but uh, we've got Michael Smith and it's less money, isn't it, to keep Michael Smith. Ananu is pacey by the looks of it. Composure is woeful. It's quite interesting play styles. We'll shortlist him. This is a tall centre back, this. That is woefully slow. Otherwise, he'd have been great. Don't forget to use substitute. Shut up. I am going through preseason. We get a draw. Vox with a goal. Oh, yeah. You have to really finesse the training on this, don't you? Because your players just lose all of their stamina. And we get a win. A Wekwe with a goal. I don't think we'll have won the cup, though. I think we'll have done all right, probably. It's unfortunate we didn't win. Okay. On my sim to glory that I tried and failed, we did win that. So hopefully the overall result is better for us here. Everybody is very tired. Can everybody be on rest, please? Rested. Energy focus, please. And then it'll just stop telling me to stop messing with the plans. And it's it's like, why do you do this? 
We'll also have a look at some of the Premier League um, younger players, because even though they're not loan listed, you can usually go in for a loan for some of them. I know Conor Bradley's actually playing for Liverpool, but in FIFA they'll have a fit squad, so we might be able to get him. God. And we could probably get Kobe, Kobe, um, Kobe Mainu, because I don't know if they've um, properly nerfed his value on this, but he will be stupid next season. It's the last time you can have him in your squad easily, guys. We're not going to do it for the sake of realism, because we know how good a player he is turning out to be so far. Let the training plan do its work. I hate this. Naismith, he's got Anticipate Plus. Not as not, not Anticipate Plus, sorry. Anticipate, he's also not the slowest. He's slow, but he's not the slowest. I'll keep an eye. Let's see how I get on with this squad. We're not going to do the train se training sessions and things like that. They just take time. We can do them before big matches, but look at that. Players are just shattered. So I'm going to need squad rotation anyway. So Pervader's got technical dribble. Not that technical. It's not technical plus. I've just realised I've not done any custom tactics. Speed will come out. No. No, that's woeful. Why is Beadle so slow to get back in position? Oh yeah, we've not got two star skillers. I've got to so get used to doing a career mode now. Is Johnson a two-star skiller? No. Surely he is. Oh yeah, I've got Delgado on this wing at the minute. Which is not ideal. We need to sort that wing position out. No! Back poster. Good inception from Vox. Get pressing. Oh! <laughs> I am so going to have to get used to playing Korea again. Nusaba. He's got half stamina and we're 22 minutes in because this game is wonderful with its training sessions. Johnson. Whip. Pass. To Perveda. Perveda plays it through. Ugh, but he can't hold that up. If this difficulty wasn't hard enough, we've got... What is that? We've got um, half stamina on all the players, which is great. Bannon. Careful. Careful. Really? 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 I need to be more cognizant of the training sessions, clearly. And make sure we've not got half stamina. It's ridiculous. Oh, what is that touch? <sighs> I need custom tactics. I need to sort all of this out, actually, is the answer. Because we are struggling. We are really struggling. I mean, it does seem like they've basically just upped the difficulty and they've they've got rid of the... Um, they're not playing stupidly like they did on the competitive mode, in inverted commas. So, I'll take that. But this, is good. this squad is going to take some getting used to. Stop it. Get off. Ruff! Red card. It's a red card any day at week. He went straight through the back of me. Tactical foul. I finally had some momentum. Out. Not not what I was intending. But we'll <laughs> I love this game. It's great. It's fantastic. No, no, stay, stay back. I mean, it's not really gonna do much when they manage to break your defense and you can't turn anyway. Beadle. I'd like a shot. Is that too much to ask? A shot? Ugbo. Yes, Ugbo. Delgado. No, Delgado. That's surely a foul. No, ref? Did he just fall over? He probably fell over. Why? No. Block the channel. No, he's had it. What a finish. What a finish. This is poor. I, I actually try and pass, and it's not even button lag. The players just run through treacle. Well, guys, I hope this is really good escapism from Sheffield Wednesday's um, usual misery by giving you some real-world um, life... Oh, life like Sheffield Wednesday misery. Yes, that's what we've got here. Look at that turn. Centuries have turned quicker than that man. Uh, I give up, guys. I give up. It is Plymouth. They're meant to be one of the worst sides in the league. I need some players, please. I need some players, please. 
Great managerial debut. Fantastic work. 4-0 loss. Love it. But look at the moustache. The moustache will see you through. There wasn't that much between the two teams today. Even I don't know why he said that. Oh, God, it's Southampton next. Wow, he would be quality. It just makes me sad that the thing you need on this game all the time is pace. Unless you play on the lower difficulties, obviously. Or you've got a technical dribbler. Right, how bad is this going to be? The answer is bad. Right, loads of Premier League scout reports have come in of young players, so we're going to have a look at them, see if there's anybody that's worth approaching, maybe. Jordan's story is just too slow. Otherwise, he's got great play styles, which is just annoying, actually. That's really annoying. His passing is woeful, but we could technically work on him. I don't know. Hmm. He's a bit... Yeah, he's 25, though, so it's not like... He might be better than Palmer. I think he is going to be better than Palmer, actually. Let's go in for him and see if we can work on him at all. He'll probably feel better in-game, and then we can ship out Palmer. Quickie 800 k with the 10 cent signing bonus, but that's it. And a new. Let's see what we can do. That's fine for me, actually. I'll do that contract easily. Cool. I'm going to set us a basic 4-4-2 as well. And I think we'll play with this most of the time, actually. Right, we've got a couple of options there. If I need to revert to 4-4-2, it's in there now. Okay, Carabao Cup. We're going to um, actually shift the team around for this. I'm not expecting a win. I just kind of want to get through it. And it's a 4-2 loss. At least we scored a couple of goals. Right, I think I'm going to bring in a player that I can potentially work with. I know we had Gassama, but... Could I... Do you think I could get Dobbin? They won't loan him, but I could buy him. He's got technical. Yeah, I'm going to go in for Dobbin. Because he should satisfy an objective as well. Will they do 900k for him? With 10%, they will. Yep rotation but i'm actually gonna play him because i think he'll be better in game than what we've got five grand a week cool oh look at all the play styles on this lad and he will satisfy one of the objectives that's a good way to start i'm probably not going to use him i'll send him out on loan but his play styles are ridiculous grand and half as well that's one of our objectives done as well match against millwall yes i'm currently having a zisco start to the season but we're ignoring that Okay, I'm going to have to play the next one, aren't I? And I still probably won't win that. I want some more players before I play this game. It's the Wednesday players run through treacle every single time. Why is Perveda there? Why has that happened? I'm going to go in for this Petrowski purely because he'll replace Volks and he's 25. That's fine with me. No, let's not be silly here. Five and a half grand. What that does actually, it gives me the freedom to send Hendrik back to Newcastle. I have to check out Vardy. It just has to be done, I'm afraid, because he's probably retiring at the end of the season, isn't he? It's usually the way it happens. I know, he still plays for Leicester. Oh, he's transfer listed. He's transfer listed, which means by the laws of the game, guys, I'm bringing in Jamie Vardy, because he's bloody transfer listed. Which, you talk about realism, he's transfer listed, he's 36. I've done it on FIFA's before, it's probably the last one we're going to get to do it on. Maybe next one, we'll see. EAFC, let's sign Jamie Vardy. He's not the paciest, but he could actually save our current situation. 1 million, 1.6, let's go in for, because he's transfer listed. 1.9, let's go 1.7. Yep, 1.7 million on Vardy at the minute. Can we get him on a two year? That'd be great. Yes, we can. I'll give him 20 grand a week. And I'll give him a hundred thousand pounds for signing. Yes! Star player. Should have happened this season. Should have thrown all the money at it, Chancery. Could have made it work. It's like, where do I put Ugbo? But that's a nice problem to have. Now I am gonna loan out Kadamatri. Could I potentially make him play wide? How bad would it be if I tried to get him to be a wide player? Right, we got a ma this match against Sunderland. Let me just make sure I sort our team uh, numbers out. Squad numbers, even. Obviously, I'm converting Pervader to a cam as we speak. He should already be there. But for some reason, even if he's got as a secondary position, the game doesn't like to give you any stat boosts for a while until you actually develop it as their main position. It's weird because alternate positions, all of that. But we move on. Jamie Vardy's having the number nine. Musaba can keep 45. I'm going to give Pervader number 11. Then Dishon Bernard's going to get 
more of a prominent number for me. I'm going to give him the five over Bambo. Let's play this Sunderland match. Let's see if we can get on. If this doesn't work, if I, if I play really poorly, I may end up having to do the training sessions to get that little boost because this difficulty is a thing. Three new signings, Dobbin, Vardy, Anna, I can't say that. Ananu? It's Ananu, isn't it? I'll get used to that. Let's see if they make the difference. Oh, and we've got that um, midfielder. Four new signings. Obviously, this is more of a challenge against Sunderland. They have a better side than Plymouth did, and they beat us 4-0. That midfielder's quite tall, which is useful. Have you seen him? That blonde lad, he's huge. <sighs> Shouldn't be getting shots away there, but good save, Beadle. Just good hold-up play there. Right, Dobbin. Get down that wing. Yes. Keep going. Run. 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 Oh, he overran that last one. Careful. And a new with a good inception. Not amazing. Can I have the... I prefer the free kick. Because now I've just had to pass it into... That's stupid, man. Like, just give me the free kick. Because my back was to goal. I had to then play it upfield. And they could actually attack from this. Okay, Perveda. Good dribbling work. Plays it through. I'm. It's not a good ball. Uh-oh. 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 Good work. No, Masaba! Oh, that's woeful. That's woeful. Right, we're going to 4-4-2 because what is this, basically? It's so slow. <laughs> Why I kind of wanted to sim the first season so we could get a little bit further because this is going to be pain. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get the ball. What? Love double taps me. Fantastic. Vardy, again, actually feels like a player. Var right, let's get it to Vardy all the time because he feels like a player I can use. Go. Half time 1 0 down. Not ideal. Bernard plays it to Masaba. Midfield. Dobbin, great ball. <laughs> Spin's just not there, just don't have the pace. Any of my players want to wake up and react to opportunities where we could actually pick up the ball in the midfield now? What is this? What is this defending? Look at that! Look at that! It's just genuinely woeful. Oh, I can't get it out of my own bloody box. What is that? So I've got to hoof it. So I get that if I clear it, I have, if I if I try and defend, I have to hoof it. Basically, I can't pass it out. Okay, Johnson. He says that while trying to pass it out. Bannon. Come on, get it through. Petrowski. Masaba. Masaba, you are not that slow, mate. You are not that slow, though, are you? No. That was woeful. That was poor. Not got Vardy onto the ball at all, really, have we? No. If we can keep this to 1-0, I guess it's slightly respectable. I'm just passing it in my box. Fantastic. Get off. That's just... Okay. <sighs> this is going to be... I think this was a bad idea. Bannon's already on the decline, and apparently they're already moaning about me. Of course they are. I'm doing about as bad as Zisco, by the way, which um, is interesting. <laughs> right, Marin's gone out on loan. I think Kadamatri will have as well. Right, I'm going to bring in this Roos to replace um, Awekwe. Doesn't have Anticipate Plus, but his pace is, is just going to be mad for us really i'm gonna give him crucial i know he's not a crucial player but i'm giving him that purely because i want him to uh help us with the objective we've got at the minute let's do the press conferences because of the morale right let's let's try a training drill i don't know how good we'll be What a waste of time this is when you've got crap players and you're not very good at free kicks in general. Right, come on. We need a point. We need a point. I can't be better, worse than Zisco, surely. Go on, Dobbin. Go on, Dobbin. Yes, that's a throw. That's our throw. Quick one, two. Or not. 
Go on, Johnson. Whip grass! It's in the box! It's still in the box! Finish it! No! Move! Move! Masaba! Masaba! No. Oh, yes! That's in! I don't know how that's in, but we've got a goal! I thought the defender had blocked it well. Come on! I thought, because he gets a foot to it. Yeah, it hits. Take that. That's what, where I was going anyway. Little ball through to Vardy. That's better. Vardy, finesse one. Yes. So much better. So much better. I'm half tempted just to park the bus now because I know what this game likes to do to me. Like that. What is that? Defend, Roos. Defend. Goes for the tackle. He does the work. And a new through ball. Masaba, right. Okay, look at this. This is better. You put a bit of pace in the team, get a bit of life. We've got Perveda in there. Perveda whips it round. It's 3 0. We've been begging. We've been waiting to unlock this team. I needed to make a few transfers, but we are rebuilding Sheffield Wednesday. And this starts now. Great little dink cross. Brings it down well, Perveda there. And then all the time in the world. Beadle might be worth a purchase, though, because if we can develop him, he's six foot six. Uh-oh. I say that, and he misses that. This is the thing. On this difficulty, games can get uh, players can get back in quite easily. I'm going to pass this ball. I was going to say I was going to pass the ball around, but I couldn't see because of the sunlight. And then we nearly lost it. i tell you what, Vardy, get us another one, because I don't want to be squeaky. I don't want to mess this up. I'm going to mess this up. Half-time, 3-1. Petrovsky's really tired, so I'm going to bring bulks on. Probably because we're playing the Gengen press as well, so they're going to get tired if they've got low stamina. We need to be keeping an eye on players with high stamina. Pervader playing deep for Johnson. Let's try and switch this up a little bit. And that wasn't the plan. Can we get it all the way through? Bannon plays it to Pervader. Pervader's still running. Pervader. Pervader! He's worth a try. Vardy. Hold it, Vardy. Oh, you're going to get pressed. Ah, Masaba spins him. There's no way he's going to retain possession here. Oh, he does. Ah, but he kicks it out. Subs can come on now for the last minute. And that is it. A 3-1 win. I'm not worse than Zisco. Yay. It took us to the 26th of August, but we got a win. Right, and we will leave it on transfer deadline day because I will have a think at the start of next episode. Do we need to do anything to this team? We've got money left but not loads, and I might want to buy Beadle to make him a permanent Sheffield Wednesday player. But if you want the next episode nice and quickly, I'm going to film a lot of these in a short run, actually, and do, do the series and make sure it actually gets a cap off, if it gets enough support. I did the player career, didn't get as much support as we usually get, guys, and obviously they take quite a lot of time um, when I'm not full-time with this sort of thing. So please do leave a like, leave a comment, that sort of thing, and subscribe to the channel. And if you are enjoying this, guys, we will make sure we get a, a worthwhile EAFC Sheffield Wednesday career mode series out on the channel. But for now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things, and keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.